In April, the Environmental Protection Agency put new limits on PFAS, also known as forever chemicals, in drinking water, a step that could potentially reduce exposure to the chemicals and also their health risks for approximately 100 million Americans. Yeah, but it may surprise you that there are still no federal guidelines when it comes to those same chemicals in food. Aronda Walker shows us the results of a recent Consumer Reports investigation looking for PFAS in milk. With reports of PFAS contamination affecting some farms, Consumer Reports scientists took to the labs to find out if our milk supply is safe. Their investigation had some good news, but also some red flags. Add it to your coffee, pour it over cereal, or just drink a glass of it. Milk is a staple in practically any fridge. Besides essential vitamins and minerals, there might be something else in milk that's not good for you. A bunch of dairy farms over the years have reported PFAS contamination in their water or their soil and then subsequently in their cows and then the milk that the cows produce. PFAS are also known as forever chemicals because they essentially never break down naturally, have been linked to cancer, immunity and endocrine problems along with infertility. PFAS have historically been added to consumer products to make them nonstick, waterproof, stain resistant. And then once PFAS are out in the world, they end up in our water supply, in the fertilizer that farms use, and they end up in our food and they end up in us. To investigate the potential problem, CR recently conducted a limited test of 50 samples of whole milk purchased from grocery stores in five different states. The good news, CR found PFOS or PFOA, two PFAS that are most often linked to harmful health effects in only six of the 50 samples. But the results also raise some red flags. No one should stop drinking milk based on these findings. However, it does show how our federal food safety agencies and manufacturers are not monitoring for PFAS in milk and other foods and the needs for health protective limits for these harmful chemicals. In response to the question from Consumer Reports, the International Dairy Food Association said dairy foods and beverages are highly regulated and rely on a verified system to ensure their safety and integrity. But if you are concerned about PFAS, you can limit your exposure by avoiding stain and water resistant clothing and carpets and using cookware that claims to be PTFE free, such as pans with ceramic coatings. Other ways to limit your PFAS exposure, test your drinking water for contaminants and if present, use a water filter certified to remove them. I'm Rhonda Walker, back to you. And just snap the QR code at the bottom of your screen. It'll take you to the Consumer Reports section on ClickOnDetroit.com. There you'll also find their special investigations into prepackaged lunches and fears some may contain arsenic.